down to the 35-yard line, bouncing around, and it's playing off a hot by an up man. Yeah, they that ball from the ball to the right sideline, and Chris Bobby breaking it out. So McIntosh County Academy with a first and 10 from their 35-yard line, immediately sending Gary Harrington back into a pistol formation, taking the snap and running the football into Eric Hester, who makes a tackle at an angle up around the 35 into the 36-yard line. So nobody really blocked Eric, and he had a clean hit. Three receivers trips to the near side, one to the far side, and the Bulldogs have four on their defensive line. Short throw caught by Sons, races up across the floor with a first down, tackled in the midfield track by Monte Sanchez. Hampton back at the pistol, a back behind him. He's going to pitch it that way. The ball is loose. The Bulldogs dive around the 49 on the buck side, not able to scoop it up on the turnover. Herring to the quarterback collected the ball after the fumble by Carswell. So here comes McIntosh County Academy at their 49-yard line. Second and 15 for the Buccaneers. Harrington back at the pistol, shifting the back to his right. And play takes it. He'll keep the football. Harrington the 48 is tackled from behind. And really turns on the play. Stop by Darius Scott, his brother CJ. We'll see in touch with Lisa tomorrow, making a number one out of All right, third down and four for McIntosh. There's this stamp, and Harrington throws it out to the left side. Oh, that's First and ten, 9.37 to go, score this opening quarter, Harrington up the middle, takes the ball inside the 25, down close to the 23-yard line, in the middle of the field and picking up four yards to make it second and six. Second down and six for the Bulldog 22 in the opening quarter, Harrington throws a lateral left side, looked like the Buccaneer wanted to throw, and so... Harrington back at the pistol, taking the snap, running it down the right hand. The Bulldogs will make the tackle outside the five near the six-yard line. Second and goal from the seven for McIntosh County Academy. Eight minutes to play in the first quarter. Harrington's going to run the football to the outside. The Bulldogs get a hit on him. James Atheridge starting at quarterback for the second straight game. Jordan Usher, the sophomore, with a micro fracture in his knee. They're going to start off with a pistol, and James is going to football. And now pitch it right side, and the ball is run near the first down marker as Jamar Smith took that pitch. And at least eight. 7-13 to play in the opening quarter. The Bulldogs trailing 7-0. Now they go to what they call their double Y offensive formation. Etheridge on a quarterback keeper needed two for the first down hit and around the 40. I think he might be a little bit short. The Bulldogs need nearly the 42-yard line to pick up the first down. As Bryant first Prilly will split out to the left. His mom at uh, Dublin tonight listening on Y101 having a birthday today. James pitching at left side of Jamar. And Demetrius Baker out to the left. Bulldogs uh, step picking up a yard on that. So it's second and ten. From the pistol, James. down, averaging 39 yards per punt, been over 40 for most of the season, takes a snap at the 25, boots it away, gets it to go, and I mean deep inside the 20, taken and bobbled at the 10, still loose at the 3, picked up the power, the board will swarm, can somebody make the tackle, and they're going to blow the play dead, I guess, I guess you're going to see the knee went down inside the 5. Harrington keeping the football, going to the outside, moving around Coward, and now driving the football up to the 26 for a tackle by Darius Scott, very active early in this game, and all, also in on the tackle was Eric Kester. 
Bulldogs on the defensive line. Of course, we're on a four-man front. Brandon Dowd is on the D-line with Darius Scott. You heard him on our Bulldog pregame show. Here's Ariad Gaffney lining up at defensive end on the left side of the formation. Second down at four. Harrington taking the snap, dropping back, throws it short. And the ball comes to the first tackle. He's running away across the 50. And by his tackle, that's the Bulldogs 24. All of the Bulldog 44 on a first and 10 for Harrington with three receivers near side, which is a wide side. He'll throw the screen to Sons. Uh, the playmaker Barkley sits off that block. Not able to make the tackle. Neither is Captain the County the Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that should be a fucking air down. down. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Again, the same formation tipped to the short side of the field. Receiver out to the left. Motion for Palmer. And he'll take the head on on a sweep and cut it down. for the first down as they send Mobley out to the right side. Eric Hester, who's a tight end, splits out to the left side. Bulldogs are trying to pass to him. Etheridge hands it off inside. And that's Jamar Smith running the football up to the 29. Gonna make it third down and still long. Gain of six on that play, third at 12. Short drop, there's a throw. Etheridge to Hester, and he's tackling his hands. Uh, up across the 36, he was almost going to slip away, and then he was going to pick it up. There was a Buccaneer coming over, but he was well behind the play. But instead, it's fourth down of the Bulldogs. You have to punt the football with a minute 16 to go in the opening quarter. And they are already down 14 zip, and Palmer's going back deep. Let's see if Brandon Dow could boom another. He's going to be taking the snap at around the 20. Buccaneers are short one player, or maybe they got too many. He's unsure. He's going to run to the line of scrimmage, so they counted, and now they got 11. And here's a snap to down as to go down a little to get it. Boots it in the air, not quite as deep, but not bad. Bouncing at the 32, still hopping, picked up at the 20 by Palmer, coming near side. Still running at the 25, and the 30, and the 35, and the 40, and finally tackles in. Four-man package as far as receivers are concerned. The Bulldogs rush Harrington, flush him out of the pocket. He throws it down. And a senior receiver is scoring for McIntosh County Academy. They have a lot of seniors on this team. And this is a really low kick. And I guess it's too low. It's no good by Mixon. So it's still 20 nothing McIntosh County Academy. Buccaneers ruling the opening quarter on their home field. And still 24.6 seconds remaining in the opening quarter as we break on Y101. Look at how you step it up. Bulldogs starting at their 37. Etheridge hands it off. Landed Cowan. Got a couple of steps forward, and then he was hit hard. He's linebacker would have filled the holes quickly. And not much there for Cowan. Clock running. That's going to do it for the opening quarter. McIntosh okay. County Academy scoring on a 65-yard drive, an 80-yard drive, on a 60-yard pass play to ruin Thank you. And as we take a break, you're listening to the Bulldogs. Got to drive the ball. The Bulldogs will start now at their 37-yard line in the second quarter. Jamar Smith taking the hand off, hit the breaking tackles, and now crossing the 40 to the 41. It's been tough for Jamar to get going in this ball game. The Bulldogs haven't had the ball much. And McIntosh obviously dominated in time of possession. Jamar picking up about three and a half to make it third down and seven. Bulldogs with their three-man backfield, the double wide, Cameron Connor, Eric Hester blocking for Jamar, and he runs into traffic, and his tackle behind the line of scrimmage, back at the original line of scrimmage, to make it fourth down and roughly ten. Just a, a lot of bodies there in the backfield. Low snap, feels it, rush on, gets it away, 
is taken at the 27-yard line, returns to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, and Demetrius Playmaker Baker, the grand in the shove, will make the tackle, also not to get on the tackle, Nathan Belch. Still speeding. Still speeding. All right, Bulldogs putting on fourth and five after the five-yard penalty. The ball taken at the 15-yard line, returns to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 30. First and 10 for Gary Harrington, his team leading 20 zip. Harrington keeping the football bumped by his own guy, the guy that caught the big touchdown pass. And he'll get the tackle on that play. Harrington down around the line of scrimmage, maybe slightly behind it, loss of three quarters of a yard. They've used this formation a lot, three receivers one side. And one receiver to the left, that's Pringle, the taller receiver. And the handoff will go inside as they spread the field. The Bulldogs will have to make the tackle from behind, up around the 50-yard line. A dog moving very quickly. i got to assume that's Landon Coward. No, that's Brandon Dowd from the defensive line. Third down and four. The Bulldogs need the defensive stop. Snap to Harrington. Hands it off to Carswell. Sealed off, fighting forward. And they get the first down. The Bulldogs had helmets on the football, but didn't bring them down. And now he's very close to that. First and ten, Harrington running the football. Oh, I got him by the jersey. Now he goes down at around the 43-yard line. Penetration in the backfield by Eric Hester. Remember, Harrington throwing it left side. Sons with the catch. Going to run the football. Move around the dog. Right side. There he goes. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Here's Harrington blocking. He's inside the 10. He's to the goal line. And in. On the kick, they've all been high and short. This one is as well. Bouncing at the 30, still hopping around the dogs. will take it at the 29-yard line. All right, let's answer the trivia. All right, here come the Bulldogs to the line of scrimmage. On a first and 10, the pitch goes to Jamari in the backfield. He is surrounded. He'll be tackled by four. He's still on the line of scrimmage. Jamari not able to go anywhere and goes down. On the scrimmage, James Etheridge behind center. One back is Jamar taking the handoff. Hit immediately by the big All-Stater. It's All-Stater against All-Stater on that tackle. Bedford against Smith. And Jamar didn't have a chance. If Bedford makes a tackle. Now the short side of the field. Etheridge on the short drop. Uh, chuck it up in the air to Heston, but overthrows it by five yards. Up around the 50. Passes incomplete. And once again, the Bulldogs sitting on one first down. Three and out. We'll send Brandon down out the punt for the long field. Buzz back there. Waiting to snap. And the punt by Brandon Dowd. Here it is. He's going to let it hop by him. He didn't touch it. Now he does. Moved by Belch. And the playmaker grabs him and tackles up Demetrius Baker. And the 41 back to his side. So here comes that uh, Buccaneer offense so far. A drive of 65, a drive of 80, ending in touchdowns, and two pass plays of 60 and 43. A four-man front, the cold out at Eric Hester, and Harrington dropping back, throws it as an open man, making the check for the third line. Tackles down at the 30-yard line, and he the both arms again. In the Bulldog 35. Harrington races up the left leg, shifts the back to the right side of the formation. Pressure, the Bulldogs will get a hit, and he's cleaned up a cold out on a quarterback sack. Back in the Bulldog, 42 and a half. Although everybody likes to hunt and fish but me. Back goes Harrington, pressured by Dowd again, escapes. Dowd hits the turf. Harrington's still running. This is what he likes to do, find the open man. He throws a ball. It was tipped by Sons down around the 32 with a chance to pick James Etheridge. The senior safety was in the area, but the ball didn't hang up in the air long enough for him or the playmaker to get there. Third and 25, a chance for the Bulldogs to get their first defensive stop of the game down 27-0. They'll set up the screen. The ball is caught by Carswell. He's running down the left side, spinning inside the 35, tackled 101 by Nathan Belch at the 23-yard line with a penalty flag back at the Bulldog 42. you got to be able to get a defensive stop here. Harrington back in the gun, four-man Bulldog rush. Here comes Cole Dow, the block, he's spinning. Harrington under pressure now from Brandon Dow. Now moving around in the back, the Bulldogs sit him deep back inside the 30. He's still running and throwing left side, got a man wide open, the ball deflected, almost picked 
by Nathan Belch, who closed quickly and almost grabbed it at the 38. Belch forcing McIntosh to punt, 3.31 to go before halftime. Bad snap, no Bulldog rush, he'll boot it away. Line drive, bouncing at the 31. The Bulldogs will watch it hop, and it's not hopping their way. It's going to roll inside the 20 and be down around a 16. So it looks like a bad ugly punt turns into a nice one because of the big bounce. It's been tough for Jamar Smith to break off a long run against this defensive line and the combination of those very quick closing linebackers. Here's Jamar running the football, but he is clogged up from the start, fighting for every inch he could get. Breaks a tackle, still driving. He won't go down until he gets to the 17. How hard did he work for a couple of yards? Yeah, I think having that same mindset. And that's what you want out of a running back, especially as he's oh, featured guy. James Etheridge will hand it off to Jamar again. He's hit, breaks a tackle, breaks another one, drives forward, and picks up a bulldog first down, brought to you by All Clean. And 403, 30, 99. It's not clean, unless it's all clean. Another tough, bruising run by the junior All-State running back for the Bulldogs as they pick up their second first down of the ball game, stopping the clock with 2.12 to play in the second quarter. Well, Coach D. First Prilly always complimenting Jamar on his effort. He did that in our Bulldog pregame show today. Here's Jamar again running hard. The ball's not free and loose at the 33. Nobody hopping up and down for McIntosh. Bulldogs. Bulldogs have recovered it. Maybe a lineman. They're down 27 to nothing to McIntosh County Academy on the road. The full house backfield as James Etheridge will drop back with time now out of it, now sacked. Or maybe tackled, yes, sacked. He was in tackle behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of about three near the original line of scrimmage with a minute to play in the opening half. Two-man backfield, split back beer. The Bulldogs haven't shown this formation many times tonight. And James Etheridge on a play fake, turns and fires it as a man wide open. First Prilly makes a catch, and he's knocked out of bounds with a dog first down and a late hit, which will add on to the game with 49 seconds remaining in the half. Split back formation, four-man front for McIntosh. James Etheridge dropping back across the 50, throws it short. The ball is caught by Jamar on the screen that they worked on this week. They'll take the ball down inside the 35, down to the 32, and another Bulldog first down. The first down on this drive, it's been a nice one, best of the night. James dropping back to the 45, chucks it short. Jamar with the catch, foot wrapped up, and not able to shake free, tackled for a very long game. Actually, I think the down marker is a little more. Third and 16 for James Etheridge as he will ride it off inside to Jamar Smith. He'll lead the ball down inside the 35, maybe close to the 33-yard line. Clock is running. Dogs, at least according to the scoreboard, at one time. I was down to 10 seconds remaining. And it's going to be four down and a little more than 10. Now five seconds as the dogs come to the line of scrimmage with three, with two. James gets off to play, hands it off to Jamar, goes up the middle, as the morning sounds, picks up a couple of yards, and then the only one we have, and he can go on the Mackinac County Academy offense. Touchdown drives of 65, eight touchdown passes of 60 and 43 by the senior, Harry Harrington, the only mistake, I guess, a next extra point. And otherwise, McIntosh for a 27 to the Bulldogs, zero here in the open half. All the books have been short in the air. This one's on the ground, scooting down to the 23-yard line, returned by Jamar Smith. Goes to the 30 with his pick shoot, breaks the tackle, goes to the 40 to the 45. Down the sideline, Jamar bumps a guy, has to step out of bounds, I guess, accidentally. The guy he bumps at about five to seven yards downfield on contact. And their full house backfield, their double Y. Handoff goes to Jamar. They are keen on him on this first handoff of the second half. And the big all stand is Bedford and some others get a link on Jamar. Eric Hester's in the backfield blocking for Jamar. Offset eye, they'll pitch it to him. Short side, Jamar running for eight. And he bumped out of bounds. Jamar Smith around Mark left in. Offset eye, Hester blocking for Jamar. Coming near side. Hester's double teaming blocking. And Jamar cuts off the block. Center of the field, down to the 35, down to the 33 yard line. Might have a Bulldog first down. Bulldogs stay in that offset eye formation. Pitch to Jamar, going to the short side of the field. Stops, cuts, runs. Now he's hit. He's going to get at least six, I would think. And will not go down on contact. Instead, the officials have to blow the whistle to stop his forward progress on a nice run. 
done that had some success. Second and six efforts to throw and does, and the ball is caught by first Prilly, I believe, right near the first down marker. And the Bulldogs might have another first down on the catch by the sophomore transfer from Dublin. His mother is in Dublin tonight and celebrating a birthday. First down, Bulldogs brought to you by All Clean. First Prilly to the near side, Mobley to the far side of the formation. Pitch to Jamar, he's gonna go short side toward the boundary. Gotta stick his shoulder pads a little bit lower than his man, try to block him. And he pushed to the boundary, and I believe out. Second and five for the Bulldogs near the 15 yard line. Same formation, same handoff to Jamar. Breaks free into the second level, get that area where the linebackers are. The first linebackers here. And he's tackled upfield, and it'll be another Bulldog first down brought to you by All Clean. Counter to the blocking scheme with Eric Hester to Jamar Smith on first and goal from the five. And the handoff goes to Jamar on kind of a counter, and he'll take it down inside the five. He's stacked up, center of the field, and down inside the three yard line. So the first points here. Last time they played here, they scored points on a punt return by Malcolm Burley. And Jamar again tripped up though, keeps his feet diving to the goal line. The official says touchdown and the Bulldogs are finally in the end zone with nine minutes and two seconds to play in the third quarter. And now trailing 27 to six. Touchdown brought to you by Patriot Gas at 537-1943. But they're going to go for one. James Etheridge holding for Guzman, who's only missed one all season. I think 14 to 15. He puts this one through very nicely, working under the tutelage, as they say, of Brad Bell. And the Bulldogs are down 27 7. As we break, he's on by 101. Here's a kick, maybe a little bit too deep, but bouncing off a foot loose. And down around the 23 yard line, McIntosh will take it there. Basically the same formation, shotgun, four receiver package, three to the near, and the pass is incomplete to make it second and 10. And one of the receivers, who caught a big pass in the first half, Drake trying to make that catch, he's just a freshman. Go back, and Harrington will hand it off inside. The Bulldog defensive line reacts very quickly to the run by Carswell, making the tackle very close to the line of scrimmage. That'll make it third down at about nine, gain of one. Tall and short. And we'll see if the Bulldogs can handle this third and nine. Here's a little pressure from down late. The Bulldogs get back there. He slips free. Has a foot tangled up as he throws the ball up to the 40-yard line. Incomplete. The Bulldog almost had the sack. And he was throwing the football with the dog, grabbing his foot. Hester will block for Jamar Smith. He takes the football, goes up the middle, now tries to cut to the left. But the defensive line was there. Linebackers were there as well, making the tackle. Probably a little behind the line of scrimmage. Yep, around the 49. But Chris Mobley has set them up to the left over the split back formation. James Edwards back to pass under pressure. Now running it right down the left hand for a couple of yards. Positive gain, but not much. And the ball down around the 47. The Bulldogs would need a bunch. First down on third down at about 12 and a half. The Bryant for Prilly. Put out to the right side. Three receivers in the package. He's going one way. That's the Hester and overthrows him down the left side. Now they tried this earlier. It's about the same result, an overthrow pass. Harrington taking the shotgun snap, hands it off, and the Bulldogs will come over and make the tackle up around the 13. They are now snagging up plays, whereas earlier in the game they were not doing so. Second down and seven for McIntosh. Ball at the around 11 yard line, I guess. Another hand up in which the Bulldogs will make a tackle very quickly upfield. That's good news. The Bulldogs are giving up a lot of yardage in the first half. Touchdown drives of 65 and 80. Big plays of 60 and 43. Darius Scott, they gave all the scores. Darius Scott on the tackle there. Third down and seven. We'll see what the play call is. Snap to Harrington, play fake, he'll drop back, plenty of time this time, throws it, ball caught, first down, run down the side, the 30, the 30, the 30, the 30, the 30, and the Bulldogs are pushing, but he didn't step out, goes down to the 31, it spins, but hold on, the play whistle dead, probably near the 40 yard line. Harrington ready to take a pistol snap and hand it off. Good tackle of the backfield by a guy who's played really well tonight, Darius Scott. Right. So, second down at a dozen. Short pass is caught upfield, and the Bulldogs will gang tackle get around the 32 yard line to make it third down. Probably about five, maybe four and a half for back. Pringle's got the height advantage. High snap to Harrington, hands it off inside, and the back running hard 
He better as far as well, or longer, maybe far as well, running the ball right close to the first down marker. All right, so here's the situation. Fourth down and two for Bacintosh. And Harrington will take the snap, and he's going to fake it, run it left side, and he's tackled one-on-one -on -one in the backfield by Nathan Belch at the 35, and the Dogs will take over. Dogs from the 35, pitching Jamar going to the outside, now goes to the 35, to the 37. It'll take several Buccaneers to bring him down on the short game with two and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. The Bulldogs gaining three to make it second and seven. Still down but 20, but showing some positive signs here in the second half, both offensively and defensively. So whatever happened at halftime, obviously adjustments and scheme but also conversation and motivation. The Bulldogs have played differently here in the second half. Second down and seven, split back formation. Jamar again running the football across the 40 to the 45, and on the spot he should have a Bulldog first down, brought to you by All Clean. Going to drive the ball right now to playmaker Baker comes to the near side with Eric Hester, and there's a receiver to the far side as James Efforts will throw left side, hang it up in the air and overthrow a man once again. This time a different man, it was Chris Mobley, not able to race under it. Again, maybe not enough air on the pass. Second down and 10 for the Bulldogs from their 46. Efforts going to play fake, rolling to the right, half time, throws it too high, and a man breaking left side. And Catch the football, you got to play really well with the big team tiny people. Slip back to you. And a four-man front. They're going to throw it left side, and the ball is caught. And Chris Mobley spinning, but not able to shake the team. And the ball is back to 49. Might get to 48. It's going to be fourth down. The Bulldogs are going to need about four for the first down. It's based on where the ball is and how much time's left in this game and what the score is. Do you keep the offense on the field, or do you bring Brandon down out to punt if he's able to, and he's not. He was injured earlier. So, Fernando Rodriguez, a junior, will punt the football. It'll be fourth down. The official says timeout Bulldogs. 27-7. McIntosh leading tunes here at Darien as we break on Y101. All right, Bulldogs have made a decision here not to punt the football. They go for it on fourth down and four. Back to the offset high. That is Eric Hester blocking to Jamar Smith. James Edwards gets some movement into the neutral zone from one of the tackles. And if the Bulldogs didn't move, a five-yarder would give the dogs a first down, but I see Buccaneers clap on the sleeve. Procedure, five-yarder against the Bulldogs. Bulldogs need a long eight for the first down. They're gonna pitch it to Jamar, coming to the near side of the field. Now cuts it up because he saw the outside one open. He breaks free, breaks the tackle. He's running to the 35, to the 30, to the 25, to the 20, 15, 10. He scoops it in the end zone. An amazing run by Jamar Smith. It looked like he was down short of the first down, but somehow he kept his feet and scored a big Bulldog touchdown. He was climbed up. I don't know how he scored free, but he did. And now here's the extra point try. By Oswaldo Guzman, and he is true again. And the Bulldogs have scored two second half touchdowns, both in the third quarter. Bulldogs are within 13 and 27 14 as we break on Y101. Last time he had the football, Nathan Belch made a great tackle at a fourth down play to set up the drive. This time he's going to hand it off. The Bulldogs will chase him down and tackle him one on one. That was Eric Hester behind the line of scrimmage. Needing another defensive stop at second and 13 after the Hester tackle behind the line of scrimmage. There's a throw almost intercepted. Oh my goodness. Oh, that would have been a pick six for James Etheridge. The ball is loose. Was that a lateral? The Bulldogs were running into the end zone. Is that Etheridge? It was. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. What a read in the secondary. He's going to have to put that out of his mind. He's kicking himself right now because all he's got to do is hold on to that football. And he walks into the end zone with nobody around for a pick six. A play with it being within six points. Harrington dropping back, has plenty of time, rolling to his right, being chased by Hester, running for the first down, and the Bulldogs will hit him a couple of times and bring him down. 
at the 31, well short of the first down. Solomon McLeod coming over, a Bulldog linebacker, Eric Hester chasing, and Brandon Douglas, a defensive lineman, and the playmaker Baker coming over near the sideline on the McIntosh side. The Bulldogs have made it fourth down and seven, the McIntosh 31. Low snap, fielded and booted away. This one's up in the air and away from the return man, Mobley. So it's going to bounce, but take a big Bulldog bounce up to near midfield, up around the 48. All right, so James Edwards on our center. He'll give it to Jamar. Jamar breaks across the 50, drives down to near the 45. Just nothing major there, but of course, such a good runner, such great field vision, and a gain of probably about six yards on that run. Ball down at the back of time, 47 on the second and five. And Hedrick will hand it off to Jamar, and he's going to fight forward down to the 40 and pick up a Bulldog first down. Brought to you by All Clean. It's not clean unless it's all clean. How about that? Another first down for the dogs, and Jamar running low to the ground. Bulldogs from the McIntosh 40, 10-21 to play in the game, the Dogs down 27-14. Etheridge will ride it off inside, the Bulldogs will pick up a couple of yards on a run right there, so it could be second down at about eight. You know he probably likes this situation, you know, I gotta make a play here. He's such a competitor out there on the football field, really wants to make a big play on offense. What a golden time it is right now at second and eight. James Edwards will run it, looks like an option, keeps the football and will go down at the 40 on a short loss of a yard. He's back to the original line of scrimmage. Two receivers to the near side, Mobley and first Trilly. Look backfield, James will hand it off, and then Landy Coward shaking free. Maybe the first one of the night for Landon running it down to the 30. He's going to be short of the first down. He's probably going to need two more to get the first down on the fourth down play. Day of seven to make it fourth down and three for the Bulldogs. On the right hand, James Edwards will run the option and keep the football and die for the first down marker. And the question is, did that dive get him there? Buccaneers have already started pointing. My gut feel is he didn't get there. But I'll wait to see. The down marker changed. John, the Bulldogs with a four man rush down, creeping a man to the line of scrimmage. Harrington runs it and breaks a tackle and moves it left side. And he's stopped very quickly. He's not going to get a lot on that play. Slice down after about a two yard gain. Hey, a couple of salutes tonight. One to Mati Wing listening at Kuwait and also to Robin for getting the Ustream up. It wasn't working, it wasn't working, it wasn't working, and she finally got it to work. It wasn't our problem. I guess it was Ustream, but hopefully Mati's able to listen to what's happening tonight over in Kuwait, and hopefully we can bring him good news on a Bulldog comeback. So the situation, second down and nearly 14 for McIntyre, and the Bulldog's down 27-14. And Harrington fakes a throw short, now he's going to dump it deep, has a man, oh bad, but he didn't get the ball, and Mobley laid him out. Wow. Harrington back of the shotgun, taking the snap, no pressure this time, he's got plenty of time, moves across the middle, and soft, but overthrows him. Incomplete in short down, he was streaking free behind the Bulldogs, and around the 40-yard line. Efforts behind center J.D. Rogers taking the snap, running the football right side, picks up seven, eight, and dies for the first down marker. That's either that he went down, probably short of the first down, but a nice run by the senior quarterback on first down. And the pitch goes left side to Jamari Bob the ball, now he kicks it, now he's going to try to track it down, he dives on it and rolls, and he got it back. Second down and a dozen for the Bulldogs. Ball back at the back of touch 33, 6.20 to go. James Efford dropping back pressure, scrambling, running inside the 30, tackled around the 29, made something out of a tough situation. And the Bulldogs will have a third down. Still going to need a big chunk of yardage right here. Looks like about seven. Efforts running the option, pitching to Jamar. He cuts it out. Now he's hit low, sliced down to the curve. After a couple of yards pickup, it's going to be fourth down for the Bulldogs. They now need five with five three to go. And Baker to the near side. Jamie running the option, keeping the foot game. And keeps the pass it around the field. And it's a the first down. First and ten from the 26. McIntosh got over across the 40s and the 45 and the 50 and tackling it. Uh, the official running his hands in, 
first over the clock yet, which is to the advantage of the Bulldogs. And now there's a running play that was getting three. Back across the county cattle is coming over to make the tackle is, I believe, Brandon Douglas. No, that's Eric, Eric Hester, number 82, not number 62. So a game of about four, make it second and six. Now they stop the clock, 4.49 to go. Second down and six for the Bulldogs. And there's a handoff up the middle. Cars will hit. Now the Bulldogs will grab him with a round of 37. Might be another first down for the Buccaneers. Very close, if not. And instead, McIntosh working the clock right now. 3.54 to play, and it is running. It's third down, it's short, third down and less than one. Movement on the left side of the offensive line. The play will be blown again. This is going to be a five-yarder against the Buccaneers. There's a fumble on the handoff to Carswell. The Bulldogs will dive at the 40, their side. I think the Bulldogs are on the bottom of the pile of the football. Brandon Douglas, a senior Bulldog, is because of the fumble with 3.21 to go. And now the Bulldogs need to be the quick strike Bulldogs. Yeah, it does A lot of birthdays this week. Brian Fitzgerald, Mark Dowd, Cole Dowd's father. Pitch right side to Jamar. Jamar jumps up in the air like he sometimes does, but only crosses the 41 to the 42 on a short gain on first down with a clock ticking at 10 remaining. Bulldogs will need about nine for the first down. Play calling. Pitch right side to Jamar. Running it right side across the 50. Trying to shake free. There he goes. Jamar to the 30. Jamar to the 25. To the 20. To the 15. To the 10. To the 5. And in with a Bulldog touchdown. With 2.29 to play his third touchdown of the night. 1943. Good staff. Place. And a kick up high into the nighttime air. And it is good. Bulldogs have pulled it within six with 10.49 to go. 27-21 McIntosh as we break on Y101. Here comes Guzman. And he kicks it, bounces up in the air at the 50, and just took an easy hop, and McIntosh able to settle under it and dive to the turn at the Buccaneer 48. And now they've got to tee it up at the 35. It doesn't matter where he tees it up from, you just need that football right now with 2.28 to go. Has to kick at 10, and then you got to go get it. He wants it to bounce funny and tough to catch. And they're going to kick it the other way with Cole Williamson. It's bouncing. It didn't go 10. The ball is loose though because it was touched by McIntyre. And the ball was begin pointing. Let's see now. Break the ball out, force the fumble, get it back, and give it back to Jamar. Oh, no. Running the ball down to the Bulldog 35, somewhere in that area. I think that's what he was upset about. Harrington taking the snap, hands it off to Carswell, tackled quickly in the backfield, gobbled up by Brandon Dow, who was injured earlier in the game, is back in there, makes a tackle behind a line of scrimmage for a one yard yard loss to make it second down at 11 o'clock at 2.04 remaining. Dogs down by six. Yeah, you need a strip right now. Second down at 11. Harrington hands it off to Carswell cleanly, and he'll dive ahead inside the 35. Remaining Bulldogs will take a few in their final timeout, one up on the scoreboard. 92 seconds remaining in the game. It's McIntosh County Academy 27, Toos County 21 on Y101. Pistol type formation, depending upon your interpretation, handing it off to Carswell. He's going to break through. He gets the first down. Six down to the 20. 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 This is a ball game, surprisingly. Harrington takes another knee with 35 seconds, and that could be the final play. The final play of the game. Depending upon where they mark it. Clock is 26, 25. They might need another scene. But anyway, Dogs score three touchdowns all run by Jamar Smith. And two, Davis, and the and piled up a lot of yardage. No time to the clock at 11. The come out of here with another loss to McIntosh. Have the and the 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 the